Good morning. Hey vlog. Happy day four. If you can hear in the distance, some Rufus Du Soul because we got a surprise Rufus Du Soul set today, everyone. A surprise. They spelled it S and then the U with the two dots above. The rest surprise. It got confirmed by multiple people to me. I don't even know how I first found out about it. And then like people that I know that were like working with the festival told me, and I'm like, okay, heard, heard. It's happening. That's the big day today, honestly. We have a packed music day. Yesterday was fun because we literally could just go everywhere and anywhere. And we really did that. <laughs> I, I I can't even describe to you how what yesterday was, but it was a journey. We had a great time. And I'll leave it at that for now. More stories to come. But today we have we have Rufus, then we have Barclay Crenshaw, then we have Overmono, then can we not? Neighbors? We became friends with our neighbors. Well I was trying to go in the order so I can memorize it. Overmono to MIA to Closey and then to Skrillex. Whatever and then to whatever happens. and then we have to pack up and leave <laughs> I cannot believe it I cannot believe it's I the final this, day I thought we were just gonna stay here I thought this was our like this was home this is home my outfit that I was supposed to wear yesterday was supposed to be a rave with me hente outfit was not fitting right I don't know what happened to it so went with the Rolita outfit so today we're going comfy and that's that like I might do this like romper situation, might also just do biker shorts and call it a day. Who knows? We'll see what happens, but it's currently 11.42. Shermanology's at four. We did eat a little brekkie. We might try to do a shower, and I think that's where we're at for now. Also gonna do my greens, electrolytes, all the things, and yeah. The dust has been killer. My voice is a little, like I can't, like that, I can't, no screaming. no screaming, so I gotta conserve my voice because I have to go back to work. <laughs> um, so yeah, welcome to day four. We're here, we out here. All right, hopefully you can hear me, the music's loud a little bit, but it is 328, we took a nice nap. We're ready. I am like ultimate comfy today. This is a bathing suit top and then I just said biker shorts. And then this is like the subtle makeup I did. Otherwise no makeup today. <clears throat> I just can't be bothered. I'm also gonna be doing my comfy shoes. But we're ready, the final day. We're gonna go get some food. And then maybe catch a little bit of Shermanology but also might just plant for a Rufus cause it's gonna get so fucking packed but it's gonna be a vibe. <sighs> We're moving. We're grooving. Yeah, yeah, looks good. That's okay. <laughs>
going to chime in really quick. This is just editing aid. It's been two weeks since lightning in a bottle happened now. Um, and I really just wanted to share just like this reflection of this moment happening right here because I just didn't feel compelled to like talk about it on camera at that moment. But I was just feeling such a deep gratitude. I noticed the sunset as, you know, Rufus Dussel was playing and I took it took some time to like step away from the crowd this was like maybe 20 minutes left in the set and I just like took a moment to myself and took you know the documentation of it and for those that don't know I went through a pretty traumatic breakup last year and it was actually on the date of this day vlog May 26th or 27th I think it was the 26th it was exactly a year since that breakup happened you know when my ex came over told me we were breaking up and I had to deal with the healing after that. And even though I went back to him and we tried to work on the relationship, and then at the beginning of this year, we decided to not continue the relationship, that day, May 26th of last year, was such a pivotal point in my journey that I'm always going to be grateful for. And so in this moment, I was just having this feeling of such deep gratitude for myself for this life and like I'm getting teary-eyed about it now and like I was just so glad that I decided to go to lightning in a bottle and I just followed that nudge and you know asked I had I had asked my friends all my close friends I'm like who wants to go to this and I'm so glad Inna K was down and that we were able to have this experience because I just was so reminded of you know, just love in general, like the love I have within myself that, you know, I radiate into the world, but then also getting that love back was just so amazing. And so to have that little moment to myself was just like everything, you know, um, and it really just felt, felt like a full circle kind of moment to just like a really amazing weekend. And also just reminding myself just like wow I got myself through a really tough year and we grew a lot from it and yeah just being able to be present in that and be grateful um it was just a really special moment that I just wanted to share <laughs>
It is Monday, <laughs> technically day five, day six, who knows at this point, but <clears throat> I didn't lose my voice, but I just have like a lot of congestion back here. Um, thought I would wrap up the lightning in a bottle vlogs. I was so exhausted yesterday, but yesterday was so fun. That roof was too soul set. Chef's kiss. Skrillex killed it too. We're packing up camp and now we're hoping to be on the road by noon because I have a flight to catch so my flight's at six o'clock tonight but I have no like notes right now honestly I had such a great time such a great weekend I can't wait to recap it all but it's gonna take some processing because I'm just like man what a fun time so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed today's vlog feel free to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button to vibe with me and I'll see you guys in the next one bye